So I was talking with a customer the other day about uh, installing a snow blade on a garden tractor and uh, how simple the process really is. So I thought I'd take mine off here and show you how easily it does go on. Um, so it's just a couple steps really and first step is going to be putting this, this quick hitch onto the frame of the tractor and uh, you'll see this, this rod that goes right across here. That rod we're going to, we're going to set in this groove uh, right here that you can see. You can see it go all the way over here. So it's just going to rest right in there. Now the second part of that will be hooking up the hydraulic hoses here, which we will do. We'll just plug those right in here, these quick connects here. Um, and then after that, we're going to turn it on and we're going to lift, lift the front of this uh, quick hitch up so it's off the ground a little bit. Um, that'll help us rock it back so that we can get these pins latched right in their holes here. Again, one here and one on the other side, just identical. So that's the first step. After that, we'll just drag this uh, plow blade black back there. And uh, same concept is gonna apply. We're gonna put this rod that goes across right through here. It's just gonna rest in there. And then uh, if we've got the quick hitch raised up enough, it's gonna allow us to get these pins right through the holes here. So, but anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, get started here and show you what it takes. So if we're lucky, we can get these pins in there, which this one went in just fine, and this pin went in as well. So I'll show you that really quick. So you can see how they latch in there. Kind of tough to get a good, a good look, but uh, that's the end of the pin right there that went through, and you can see it here. So same thing on the other side, this guy here, and this top rod again is just sitting right in there. Okay, if you do have trouble getting these bottom pins in. Don't try to force. Don't try to force that quick hitch back there. Uh, just do this next step, which would be to hook up these hydraulic hoses to your uh, uh, quick couplers here. So we're going to go ahead and do that now and show you what it takes. So, but why you'd want to hook these up first instead of trying to force that quick hitch those bottom pins in there is because then you can uh, use the tractor hydraulics to raise up the quick hitch, which will allow uh, the bottom portion of it to, to rock back and, and attach easier. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these valve covers down here, which are always a good good habit to get in and just to uh, put those dust covers on there. keeps keeps the dirt and grime and everything out of there. A little bit easier with, without a glove on though. So cover it down here as well. Go ahead and get these going. Uh, they are all color coded, so uh, pretty straightforward on where they go. Semi untangled here. Uh, go ahead and do this one. So if you see here, there's a this is a slip slip fitting on all these. So pull that back the whole way, and then push your your coupler in there, and it'll it'll lock in place. So down here we have we've got a silver color. And it's typical for there to be a little bit of a little bit of leakage just from what's in the thing there. So next one here. I always pull back on them just to make sure that they are latched in place. There we go. All four of those are in place. Now I'm just going to put all the caps together. This kind of helps maybe a little bit just to keep them from getting caught on something. I don't know, maybe it doesn't, but at least it looks more organized. Get this last one here. Okay, so now they're all hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now, uh, just in case you weren't able to get the bottom part of your quick hitch on, uh, just how you can go ahead and turn your tractor on, use the hydraulics there, and lift that 
Uh, quick catch up. Go ahead and fire this up. down on this bottom lever here, going to raise and lower that uh, that quick hitch. So, like I was saying, if maybe when you had taken the quick hitch off, it was um, lowered as far as it could go, and therefore you couldn't couldn't swing it back and get these pins in. Just turn it on, then you can lift your quick hitch up, and then you'll have room to be able to rock it back and get those uh, pins latched in place there. So, next up here is just going to be to put. Uh, the actual plow blade uh, and these levers, or I'm sorry, this this rod uh, right through here. Going, it's going to rest across there, and then we're going to do the same concept with these pins down here. They're going to go right, right in there. There you go. It's as simple as that. Now it's all back in place and ready to plow some snow.